Here's the intro and uh, could be even be the solo to uh, Snake Oil. Uh, when I play it with the wonderful Boo Hewardine in State of the Union, uh, we I, I do it with a flat pick. So I'm, I'll, I'll show you that later. Uh, but uh, when I play it on my own, sometimes I do it as a finger picking piece because I like the I like the feel of it. So I'll show you how all that works. Um, now, a couple things to keep in mind is that we only want to play enough of the chord to give us the idea of what the chord is. You don't play the whole chord. And so it might mean that our chord shapes are truncated. We take a finger off the, the chord because we don't need it. And the, the key to all of this playing is something I learned from the great Bucky Pizzarelli, who's a great jazz guitarist who sadly just passed away, um, is that we never play a note higher than the melody note. So the highest tone you hear on the guitar is the melody note, nothing higher. So no chord tones above it, whatever it is, you don't play beyond the melody note. Because if you do, you'll nullify the melody note and we want the melody to ring true. So all my chords are gonna to adjust to fit the melody. And hopefully we don't have to jump around too much and the melody will fall right under our fingers with just a few additions. We need to move a few fingers, but not many. So these chords are, are really easy, E minor. Lots of E minor. Then we go to A minor. B7, back to E minor. So we put the melody in and it's right in the open chord. So you see I only added my fourth finger down on the G string. We play that melody again. This little double pick. I think I got this from Mark Knopfler. I'm not really sure, but it's an old, um, it's an old country trick, and that's when you're you're alternating your thumb, but when your thumb goes up to the inner string, you bring your first finger in just behind it, so it's like a double hit. I think they call it something like chicken chicken picking. <laughs> so you're, it looks like this. Essentially, if I just use my fingers. So there's your alternating pick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the first finger in just behind the string the thumb is picking. So that's a, it's a pretty tricky little thing, but it, it works great. So. And I don't do it all the way through. I only do it when I'm sitting on the E minor chord, not playing the melody. Although it sounds like I'm doing it all the way through. playing with 
with a flat pick, it's kind of easier with a flat pick. Do that little cross picking. Idea with the pick, the alternating picking. It's uh, the idea is you just keep that pick moving back and forth. 